Hey everybody, welcome back to Rick and Scotty. I'm Scotty, who are you watching? Mamas. Let me tell your kids, don't put Lego pieces in your mouth. Whatever you do, do not put minifigure hands in your mouth. Chris is not here today. Chris, where are you? You're gone again. My time is all off because I'm really busy, so I'm just running in and out of the office. I have this habit when I'm setting up to put things in my mouth, just like my kid. So I yell at him, but sorry, I'm doing it myself. But you know what? <sighs> Don't do that, kids. Anyway, what's up? Did I say that already? Welcome back to Brick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. How are you watching me? Where I review alternative bricks. I'm going to go a little bit smaller scale again. I'm going to do a brand that I've been reviewing for a very long time. I have kind of been neglected. Kind of like if you have pets. You know, if I had pets, all my bricks are like doggies running around here in the office. And royal toys that you're looking at here are kind of like my fish in a fishbowl. They're just kind of there. I have them. I built all of them to just kind of look at them and put them to the side. They're great little sets. They're really awesome. If you like Hong Kong theme, Chinese theme stuff, these are really cool. And I just been lagging with these reviews. So here we go. We're going to review these for you. These are available on my store, BreakMeUpScotty.com. We have a very good relationship with them. I think their sets are pretty cool. Different, simple, but it's more of a nostalgic thing. If you're Asian or you've been traveling or you come to Hong Kong and you want a little bit of that vibe in your brick city, check out some of their sets. They have a lot and they have a lot of new upcoming ones like this Star Fairy, which I'll build next. It looks pretty good, right? So the four that we're going to look at today are just out of random order. I picked like a small street vendor, two smaller shops, and a gas station. That's kind of classic. It's kind of cool. But before we dive into that, let me just show you what else there is, okay? If you're just curious. My man Bruce, a loyal fan customer, he's like, Scotty, this set is so good. He bought it too. And a lot of you actually bought this one. It's like classic British police set with the car. Old school style. There's the back. Should I review this one? I know you guys want me to build them all. Let me know in the comment what order you would like to see or what, what you want to see next. These are the ones that I have available in my store right now. I have a lot more, but anyway, go look on the website. Say, Scotty, you didn't review this one, review this one. Here's a herbal tea shop. These are like classic small joints. And a majority of Royal Toy sets have been like these kind of shops. So they do kind of repeat, but each one is like totally unique there's like fish markets this one is a community center if you're from here you'll probably recognize a couple of those board games this is not a room but this is more like just almost like an accessory set you know so how cool is that you guys get to see the box you get to see the figures the one downside to all these sets is a majority of them have all stickers it's like a lot of stickers man that can be a good or bad thing but you know i don't know Rooftop school. I think I had a school on my rooftop when I was in Hong Kong before. Kind of remember that. On the back here, on the bottom, it kind of shows that you can attach it to like a government settlement area, which I'm going to show you next. There you go, some fun stuff there. Pretty cool, right? There's lots, man. And lots and lots and lots. The resettlement estate. I reviewed something similar to this before. It was a more taller, skinnier one that was kind of like more of an outlook thing, not an interior thing, all right? So this is just like a building to put outside display. Display a bunch of these behind in your background, like buy five or six of these, and then slap them together. And you can see here on the back what it would look like if they're all together. And then that rooftop I showed you earlier attaches to it on top. So it's cool. You can keep adding and adding and adding, even though these are simple, simple, simple sets. Then you got the last two here which is pretty interesting. If I put these two together, these are what, like old school 1980s, 1970s, what an apartment would look like. Those backgrounds are just cardboard. I'm pretty sure I built these and I have no idea where I put them, but I guess I can do a brand new one. And maybe I'll do this on a live stream, but these are like housing estates, another resettlement. And I guess you may be able to put these into the resettlement estates. I'm not sure into the bigger set, maybe, maybe not. But these are like more old school, vintage furniture style. And what's funny is that both of these have sticker sheets of my dad. Like there, 
I'm the usual mirror. And there, I'm uncle. These are my dad's movies. And on the TV down here is his TV show, my dad's show. How dare they use my dad's face? They even have permission to use it. So if you want a bit of me and my bloodline, there you go, you can buy these sets. We don't get any support whatsoever. You get to support me and my store. All right, what's the first one we're gonna look at, Scotty? So the first set we're looking at from Royal Toys, and these are all part of the city storyline, by the way. This is Apleu Street, RT50. 137 pieces. So what is Apleu Street? We should definitely go on YouTube and YouTube Apleu Street is pretty crazy. They're still around. It's a full like four or five blocks filled with trinkets and shops, sometimes second hand stuff. This is a box by the way for it. Pretty, you know, well, Royal Toys does all their boxes like that. There's some information about the set there. Here's a little detail on the back. And this one is actually just like a simple street shop vendor stall. There's no buildings, there's no walls, there's like a little bit. But it's more about the items and the little things here and there. Okay, here's the instructions. And if you don't know, Royal Toys uses panelless bricks. They do have a little relationship there. And then this one has like a little backstory about Apple Street, some shape. Oh, Google Translate that yourself. This is the fun shopping place you gotta go check out. But this one is very small. So it's like a little sheet there. And as I mentioned, tons of stickers. And let me just walk you through this. This one will be really short and fast. I like the set quite a lot. Let's get the most irritating sticker out of the way, which is the street sign right here. This is the, the worst way of using a sticker. It's two signs and the sticker is going across both of those signs. Oh, why gotta be like that? At least the sticker looks like the street sign. And I was actually just there last week buying some toys because they have a toy street there. It's amazing, man. If you're in Hong Kong, you need some toys for your kids, go to Toy Street in some sort of pro. What do we got next? Well, let me just break out the street vendor himself. Mr. I Love Hong Kong. It's the street vendor wearing a touristy shirt. I like the shirt, man. I like the printing on him. Typical panel style with the legs slightly different. They may or may not be compatible with the standard figures. I remember they couldn't really fit but they certainly look very close to them. He's got his sling pack on there. Do you guys like my sling pack video that I did? Yeah, cool. One more bag reviews. There's the printing on the back. So he looks fine and he has his camera that comes with the set. Am I missing something? Yes, I think I'm missing a guitar. It's like a blue plastic guitar. Doesn't look that good anyway. You don't need a guitar. Okay, so we got him in the camera and then you got this fabric cloth piece. Thank goodness it doesn't attach to anything. It just stays on the floor, but he's selling some records. You know what's crazy? The record here with all the faces, that's my uncle on the bottom right. My late Uncle Ricky. He was an amazing uncle. You guys would have loved him. If he was still around and he came on this channel, he would be pretty fun to watch, man. He'd be hilarious. He's a comedian. You can look up Ricky Hoi on YouTube. A lot of fun things. Or Hoi Gun Ying. All right, in the middle, there's another record. I don't know those faces though. Are they allowed to use the faces? Once again, I don't know. And there's a record there. Cool, vintage, little area. And that's how they do set up, by the way. They just throw all their <coughs> on the floor. Sell whatever you want. Buy it, bargain with these guys. It's everything secondhand and dirty. Lots of porn. Chris would have been smiling right about now. Then you got this sign here, which is like a sale sign. MDs, remember MDs? MDs, I don't think were popular. It was popular in the stage. VCDs, neither are VCDs, man. We were all about VCDs, MDs, LaserDisc, and DVDs. But that's all changed now. Thank you, streaming service. Oh, and by the way, this is this is legit a printed tile, so there are some prints on these sets. So we got three machines. I like the TV quite a lot. That is, I did a terrible job on the sticker. That's a, the dead signal that doesn't turn on until like 4, 4.30 p.m. I would always be waiting for Sesame Street to come on. Sunny day. I quite like this build actually. It's a very simple television. That's cool, man. You got this here. Microwave? I think so. These ones are just pretty simple. It's just like a box with like some grills on the top. And there you go, sticker, microwave, A-okay. Oh, here we go. Stereo for your minifigure to carry over the head. Wait, is this one print? Oh, this one actually might be printed. See, surprised myself, man. There are some prints in this. Oh, I did that sticker really good, but hey, very cool. I like the electronics so far. 
continuing on with the electronics. Got a fan here, and I'm pretty sure that's a Prince. I love this fan, man. I think it's amazing, even though it's so small. Like, the set is just worth it just for this fan, because it's like old school style, cut your finger off type of thing. Do the whole Darth Vader voice. Very cool fan. There's a rice cooker here that has a sticker on it. Or steamer. I like the silver look to that, the green. Actually, the color is pretty good. It's just, it is vintage. And you got this massive telephone, which is the size of the fan. And that is printed too. Wow. Okay. Happy. There's some prints on here. Old school style telephone. You guys probably don't even know how to use that. Okay, there's one more machine here. Let's look at this. This is the washing machine. They actually do sell this kind of stuff. Just go look at Apple Street. Seriously, you'll see like so many crazy shops. I'll put a link in the description if I find a video. A walkthrough. Maybe there's a walkthrough thing there. But there you go. Washing machine. Very cool. I like that. Oh, stickers. Sticker, sticker, sticker. Now, this right here is a blue cart. Where you put all your stuff on and the worker drags it around. It's like old school style wood. This is the only thing I'd say is not quite plastic. Oh, not plastic, but not quite brick built. They have these in other sets as well. I think maybe only the wheels, but those wheels are small, man. And it's really hard to balance. They'll just keep tipping over. It is balancing there though. How about that? Okay, you got this loose cabinet here. Sticker there. There's nothing inside. It's just like a accessory thing. That door came off easy. It's supposed to be, there you go. Now it's nice and tight. Nothing inside. So, so far, it's pretty okay. I mean, small little set, but I like the little accessories. So, we'll close that up and we'll come to the little stall here. You know, for being something really small, I still quite like how they made this. It didn't have to be grand, it doesn't have to be big. The color tone, everything is, is nice and it actually separates or so comes apart. So, you have the stall and the wall here and a little table here. And you're supposed to just line it up like that. So, when you walk by this, I'm pretty sure I know the shop. It should look like this with the colors and everything too, or very similar to it. You have a net or this piece here to hang your goodies on. And sometimes they put cameras all along there to sell. You got a little awning here that you can certainly adjust and the name of the place there. And on the back of it though, there's nothing here. It's just like a cabinet, but it's open on the back. There's nothing on the back side there. So it's a very simple little tiny build, very light. And then you got this little table thing here. That is a print. On the drawer, there's nothing inside, but you get like four cabinets. They go back to back and then along the top, you got a little tiny table. I like the turntable piece here. These like a rocket for the speaker part, like the vintage turntable. And in the back, there's a little stereo there. That's it. It's pretty simple. So you can totally deck this out and do it however you want to do it. You know, do it like that, put this here, and then make this guy just how I showed you earlier. Arrange it how you want, or maybe you can put this into your apartment because you have a TV, you got a telephone, you got a fan, you got records, make a little shelf. Yeah, there you go, man. Put this into your empty, unfurnished place. Let's look at the next sets. So from Royal Toys, this is the traditionary, traditionary, Sky. This is the traditional stationary store, RT57, 170 pieces. Here you go, here's the box, same size as the other one. Very cool presentation. I mean, it's like, Old school stationary style shop. This is something that I grew up with. Seeing these little mom and pop shops around the place. Most of them are pretty much gone now. But once in a while you can still find these little guys in like little apartment complex and stuff. And they sell like little trinkets here and there. But there you go. That's the back. For those of you who want the size and measurement. Small shop, yo. Let's look at the figure first. This old dude running the shop. Same deal. Printing is okay. It's nothing crazy about the way they look. Just their legs and their butts look a little backwards. They have to be different, right? And the arms, they kind of like snap into place, so it's like two pieces for the arms. A Little bit of printing there on the back. So good, this guy's gonna run the shop. And let me just show you this group shot of all these tiles. Dude, there's a lot of tiles, you know what that means, right? There's a whole lot of stickers, damn it. But yo, I can't see with my own eyes the close-ups of these, so you're seeing them now for the first time on the camera. You can really see that they put, they're just very, very tiny. And I don't know what these are. They're like, I think some of these are uh, maybe like books, accessories, or good fortune stuff. One looks like a hair product that says youth on it. And you got a calculator there. And so I did a crap job putting that sticker on. It's interesting, right? And there's even more that's like on the set itself. 
But before we go to the set, check out these two little machines that come with it, which I thought were really cute. But that devastating news again, man, stickers. I like this one. I think this is the card machine. Still is kind of a big thing here in Hong Kong. People love collecting cards that even local stuff or maybe not anymore. I don't know. I haven't been out for a while. But anyway, that's definitely a card machine or it could be like a gumball machine for you guys. And then you got this machine over here, which looks like a game machine, like a pachinko type style thing where the balls drop down from the top and you got to control and get more tickets or get a small prize. It's a nice little addition for the set. The set is very tiny, by the way. Okay, the bad thing about the set is that it's not closed off. So you have a very open front, you have a very open back, and you also have a very open top. And the other thing is lots of stickers. So again, the stickers kind of help it really like have an outstanding look. We just kind of have a lot of stickers and they're going over a lot of tiles. So if you're not into that thing, I'm really sorry. This set's probably not for you. But for majority of them on this set, they're pretty okay and they stay in place, which is good. So along the top there, you got a big sticker that says Lucky Star Stationery Company. You got a rack, two racks along the top. I actually quite like the rack style and I like the little items all, all across it. You got like little balls hanging down and on the front row, you got a good luck sign there. And I love the backpacks, that's cool, man. Sailor Moon, yo. And like three rings on the right. I don't know what those are. Or maybe those are swimming gear. In the second row is more balls calendar and look at that backpack yes gundam but look it's three stickers to make up what looks like gundam are they even allowed to use that one doesn't matter look cool and then you come inside here yeah it is really tight right on the counter side oh those are prints by the way on the trans clear pieces nice but it just looks a little bit unfinished but look at all those items like cigarettes and like more oh yeah more maybe those are like makeup and or i don't know whatever you want it to be and in the middle right here is like two shelves back to back that are tiny, but at least you can get a figure inside on both sides, but they're using stickers for majority of the set to kind of like show you that it is a store. So it's kind of like a make or break. One row of stickers has like makeup, I guess, or, or mostly stationary. Yeah, it should be all stationary stuff, stationary shop. Duh. On the other side is all your pens, pencils, tape, scissors, all that kind of stuff. On the back wall, it's another shelf there. We can actually take that out and it looks like it's all just art supplies. But once again, stickers are making up where it's. There's two sides of the wall there. That one's being blocked off as a giant sticker going in the tile with like more paint, Crayola. You know, they got to make this place look like it's full when it's just all an illusion. On the other side, there's some like sports stuff. Yeah, basketball, books, all that kind of stuff. I do like the little tiles there, but those are stickers again on them. They're like wrapping paper and a counter. Hey, that looks like a copy machine or a, or a fax machine more than a cash register machine. Oh, that's interesting. And then finally, you got this back wall here that can come out pretty easy if you just like pull it off like that and go, ah, oh, there, and now you can get in there. Pretty simple stuff, right? But along that wall, there's a paintbrush and a palette, and it's plain that you can put all the other tiles there and fill up the shop a little bit more. Only along the top, I think I might have added those tiles but it looks like you have like a telescope, little ball looking thing, Crayola, that doesn't really say Crayola. And I think the other one is like paint accessories and this brown piece, what is this thing? Maybe it's like a container to put your pens inside. Is it too, too little for you guys? Like too much stickers, too tiny, too unacceptable? Let's check out the next one. Let me know what you think. So now we're looking at the traditional tuck store. RT58, 131 pieces. Here's the box. There's the front. Almost the same as the other ones. Same video. They have a little story back there with some figures. The each set only has one so far that you've seen. Little measurement there for you. You know what? I have never used the word tuck before in my life. I was like, what is a tuck store? Tuck, I've never heard of it. This is my box, by the way. Oh, you do sometimes get this little card. If you don't get this card, don't worry. This only means like if you have missing pieces, how to order it. But if I hold onto it for you, it just means that we can source the pieces and help you get it. Cause you know, it's quite tricky. It's all in Chinese, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, there, throw that down. And for the manual, I didn't show the other one, right? It's almost the same style paper like that. Yeah, it's not the greatest poster, but at least the set is small. So it doesn't open up into like a huge 
giant poster, but there you go. This one has a ton of stickers as well. Dang. Anyway, tuck store. Tuck is just like a convenience store, right? Little baby convenience store. It is relatively the same size as the other sets. However, one thing I did not like about this set, the thing is, is like it uses a row of stickers along the top there. The stickers fold on each other. I'm like, no. When it gets really dry, they unfold. And the same goes for like anything that's cylinder or round. The stickers eventually over time will unfold. And if you've been noticing, you probably can't see it here. The gas station uses these two giant stickers as speed bumps. They always pop up and I'll show you that later. But that's the only thing I didn't like. I don't mind a lot of stickers. Like I'm getting used to it. Like put as many stickers as you want, damn it. But just don't make them roll and onto each other and go over cylinders, man. They're just going to pop off. But there are a couple of prints on this one. Look at all the accessories. Okay, let's look at all the food tiles that come with this one. Because this one has a lot. If you're seeing it right now, Chris helped me get these shots earlier. Look at all those snacks, man. You guys should be really familiar with some of these snacks, especially if you're from Asia. I recognize the cowboy cracker. That's so good. The instant noodle, like cracker style, mammy. And they just changed a little bit of the letters. Like, that's how they're getting away with it. So it's not perfectly, it's not like, I think it's not Coca-Cola. It would be like called something else. Just enough to get away from the copyright. You got two boxes here. Here's a perfect example. It's supposed to say green spot, but it says green suit. And instead of Coca-Cola, it says Kaka Kaka. Kaka Kala. Kaka Kala, yeah? That's one way to get around it. And then you got the figure. Let's look at him. He looks like a cheery old dude. Look at the bags under his eyes, like mine. I like his outfit and his slippers. And he's got his little pole there to reach things that are too high. And again, a little bit of printing on the back. And he looks perfectly fine. Quite like him. Now let's look at the shop here. Ooh, look at the sticker going across the top. It says Vilasoy, but it's actually supposed to be Vitasoy. So yeah, that's how they get away with it. Hey, look, there's a telephone number on there. Dare you to call it. Don't forget to put 852, area code. And ah... The dangling stickers that are so freaking annoying, man. But it has a nice touch when you do it all nice. Chris is probably showing you a lot nicer than what I'm showing you here because I just put it all up randomly back together and it's all over the place. And he probably decked out the shop a little bit more too. I, I see he forgot to remove a couple of things because he didn't know what he was looking at. But, you know, I'll, I'll point that all out to you. But okay, if we move that out of the way, you got more signs that are hanging down. Like the drink signs and the commercial there. Is that a real commercial that they're using? And you got this hanging piece with wrenches on it, which I really like. And they stuck on a bunch of oh, Chris, stuck on more of the tiles, the food tiles on there. With the animal crackers. I used to love those, man. And then what else is floating on the top? Looks like bags of popcorn or bags of food along the top and that triangle piece. On this side of the wall, you got that shelf that's in the other set, same style, but it's all the candy bars. And in the front, there's a bunch of drinks. I guess this drink fell over and Chris just put it there or I put it there, I can't remember. They're on top of this box that says Pretz or Pretz. But we all know Pretz, right? Yeah, look at the Sprite. Wait, did I spell Sprite right? Maybe. Shreps. Fight a soy again. That should be the soy milk. And there's another bottle on the back. Next to that, you got the ice cream or cold unit. They're all stickers on the boxes, damn it. Another ice cream container there, the typical cones, doesn't open up or anything. There's a little sticker here along the side wall, the pillar. And then we walk towards the back side, just like the other one, you got stickers on both sides. Big giant stickers, one is like an illusion of a window, and time, the clock there. The other side is another window and condiments below. Oh hey look, the back counter does have another trans clear printed piece just like the other sets but this one has like ping pong paddles and even has a container on the top next to that you got an old school telephone sticker on it in the middle uh the middle i didn't like that how they made these shelves they're very simple right they're just stickers of like potato chips on all four three sides and look on the top chris you've got to take the ice cream off man that's just for a customer to hold not supposed to stick there i think i just stuck it up there because i had no nowhere else to put it that's funny and finally over here you got a little cabinet inside or some drinks on oh, all stickers, man. Did, did this just get worse because it's like too many stickers or do you guys still like it? 
Let's look at the last one, because the last one's a little bit special. I say the best for last, as I always do. So the last one we're looking at is Petro China Station, RTS-8. 538 pieces. Here's the box. This one has the most amount of pieces so far. Big, nice size. And I'm pretty sure this is a collaboration piece with a real place called Petro China. And it's collaborating with a brand here that says Futuro Experts Choice. There's the side of the box for your measurements. There you go. Our measurements all done for you guys. I'll have to measure this stuff up. Okay, let me show you the manual. This one is a book. Yay for the books. Oh, there's more stuff back here, more trains. And these are older ones. You know, let me know. Just look on my site and you can see that. This one also has lots of stickers. But this one maybe not necessarily to, needed to use a lot of these stickers, but they do show the details. There's information about the gas station here. And if I were to show you how to put it together, look how easy it is. For starters, it feels very classic. It's not over the top and it looks like it could be your gas station for your brick city. So totally compatible. Just may not want to use the logo name of the place. You can use your own sticker or use no sticker. And I like all the little things that come with it. However, once I said, and I mentioned again, very simple. What's the bad thing about the set? The bad thing about this set is that it's these two stickers that's throwing me off, man. So they're using speed bump stickers and it's so funny because Chris is trying to help me get these really nice shots, right? They keep bending up or flexing up. There's so many shots of him trying to push it down. It's the material the sticker doesn't really stick with well with this base plate. You know what I would do? Just don't even use it. Take it away and like design your own speed bump that goes all the way across and can reach the other studs. Use some slope pieces. I'm sure you can do that. I don't know why they didn't do that. Just use some slope pieces. What do I like about this one? It's on a 32 by 32 plate on a printed piece there. I'm just looking at the sticker. I'm gonna see how long it takes for the stickers to roll up. The rooftop part will be the last piece that you build. It's totally sturdy, it's fine. You just gotta line up properly. And there's the logo there for Petro China. All four sides. And then coming on the inside, you got the gas pumps there. The petrol red station. I like how they use the blasters for the pumps and they fit in there fine. So each individual machine that you see, it's like really fun to build, put together, but it's just wrapped up in stickers which is a shame. Or maybe you like the stickers. Just do a better job than me, but they're going over tiles for sure. You got the diesel station here. Peppa. Why does it say Peppa? High speed diesel. And both sides are mirrored. So that means that you can just position these any way you like. You don't need to put them there. You know, you got a fire extinguisher there, by the way. And you got a couple of flags on the floor. You move down, you got Ad Blue. You know, as a non-car guy, I've never even heard of Ad Blue until like, I was looking into some cars and I'm like, oh, AdBlue, that's what it is. Okay, so you do have an AdBlue station there and a couple of poles there. I don't know why the black pole has nothing on it. It's like they put it, put it in the set and they just didn't know what to put on top. That's kind of weird. On the side, you got some cones and I like how they have this guardrail there that's blocking off. But look, look, there you go. This is popping up. The stickers are popping off the cones. Anything curved, finally coming off. And then on this side here, Nothing else but three pillars that say Futuro. Maybe that's the electric charger station and a fire extinguisher. There's a couple more stickers on the pillars themselves or the heights. There's not much to this part of the set, but I like the little things that do come with it. Oh, we've got the figures. Let's look at the figures. The group shot of them. You got two guys and a lovely girl. And poor Chris couldn't find the girl's arm and realized she has a backwards arm. That's the wrong piece. Maybe they'll send that to me later, who knows? Or someone's gonna buy this set for me. You're gonna, gonna, you're gonna get a girl with the wrong arm. The printing on them actually looks pretty okay. You got two employees, and that's the boss, yeah? Gotta be the boss. Slight printing on the back. But at least you got three guys that comes with the set. You got this right here. Futural, you smile. Oh, look at the big sticker going over this whole thing. No! You gotta be like that. Okay, I'll smile, smile, there you go. And you got this, the car care maintenance place. You can go fix your car. It does have a little garage piece that opens up, but man, it goes way too far back. Yeah, close it up here. There you go, pretty simple stuff. Yeah, I like this, it's just simple, man. Little boxy design, very Oxford blocky style. 
And inside, there are some tools along the wall. And you got the ramp for the car to go up, which I can show you. This car that comes with it, and I showed it to Chris going, Chris, does this car look familiar to you? It looks like an Oxford block car or, or OG Lego car. Oh no. But you can fit one figure inside. It's pretty simple stuff. Take it off here. You can just see there. Doors open there like that. A couple stickers on there for Petro China. And whether or not the car can fit perfectly fine, there it goes. It can go right onto the ramp there and it stays there. That is pretty cool. And then you can close this up and be like, no more. Leave the car in there for good. And finally, you got this little shop stall, which it's nice that they included. However, once again, the stickers are going to make up for the most of the detail of it. There's the U-Smile along the top. I like the window on the side. That's actually pretty good. Oh, it didn't close all the way. <laughs> Why? Where did this get messed up? There we go. Yeah, it looks better now. The back has nothing. That's a really weird look right there. The only weird thing I'd say is like, it's kind of a big step to get up there. You need to put like something in front of it, right? Or maybe you can fit inside the gas station part. So we open the door here, go inside. Oh, I did a terrible job with the sticker. I can kind of see it creasing. It's hard to get that, that part in there. What's the sticker of anyway? Oh, gas. More gas for your car. Stickers along the top there, accessories and drinks. The door does open up, but just sticker there, the sodas. And this very weird cash register with a little hole right there. That's kind of weird, man. But at least the countertop can open up and close right there. So there you guys go, Royal Toys. I ain't gonna drop these small little guys. It's just fun little sets to have around. I've been neglecting them for too long. It's about time I show them off to you. They're all available on bigmeupscotty.com. So if you enjoy this kind of thing, let me know. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what set you want me to review next from Royal Toys. I shall do them for you. Until next time, you guys. Break me out. <laughs>